breaking news. New England Supervolcano, how is a supervolcano formed? How do you detect them? New England could be under threat from a brewing supervolcano, according to geologists who have detected molten rock rising from the normally dormant area. How is a supervolcano formed? A new supervolcano threat could be emerging from the depths of New England, threatening eastern states and the U.S. According to recent information from Fox News, the states of Massachusetts, Vermont and West Hampshire could be in the path of the developing massive magma deep underground. So far it seems like the volcano is far underground, not posing much of a threat to its surroundings. However, supervolcanoes are known for being much more destructive with potentially worldwide implications. Volcanoes and their bigger badder supervolcano relatives are found around the Pacific Ring of Fire where volcanic activity is commonplace. Volcanoes form when magma from the Earth's core leaks through cracks in the Earth's crust and pushes upwards, creating pressure. The pressure is released when events on the Earth's crust, such as tectonic plate movements, take place. The volcano continues to form as more successive eruptions build a new crust. Geologists are currently detecting pressure under the surface of New England, which could one day become a new volcano, using a new wide ranging seismic study. So far, the U.S.'s new volcano is slated to develop in a matter of time. In the world of geology, however, this in reality means millions of years into the future. Rutgers University geophysicist Professor Vadim Levin said it will likely take millions of years for the upwelling to get where it's going. The next step is to try to understand how exactly it's happening. Volcanoes are usually found by observing the occurrence of something named shear wave splitting. Shear wave splitting is a phenomenon that occurs as a result of seismic waves coursing through solid ground. Increases and delays between the shear waves is a change that can indicate volcanic eruptions. Using this method, geologists were able to spot differences in the Earth's crust around the New England area.